Welcome guys to another video on my channel. As you see, just got back from work. It is very sunny outside, so I'll probably enjoy a bit of my afternoon as well outside. But a few things which I need to do before. That's why I already started filming this video. In today's video, I'll talk about four major things I've started to implement in my training plan. I'm not a certified personal trainer, it's just the way I do it at the moment and um, I've done it for a year now consistently and the progress I could make was massive so it's just my experience I'm talking here about so how I create my workout plan. first point in today's videos is that compound lifts are a must in every workout. Why do you need these compound lifts? What, what are compound lifts first of all? I can show you some videos as well how that looks like. So we have squats to train your legs, then we have bench pressing and we have deadlifts. I think these three are like the biggest compound lift we have there. What other, like, I mean, you can also add in there military press, you can add there dumbbell press, dumbbell shoulder press, you can add in there barbell rows, seated rows, all these things are all compound lifts. And the difference in compound lifts are that you train different muscle groups at the same time. I mean, if you look at pull-ups, for example, I mean, I implement a lot of calisthenics movements as well in my compound lifts, which I see. I just love doing these crazy skiers like front lever training and pull-ups are like them and dips are all bodyweight training things where you can add as well some extra weight. But why are these important? Because you need to train different muscle groups or you are training different mu muscle groups and let them work together in order to grow and build muscle and I've realized this is very beneficial if you have like the progress you can make and uh, the amount of weight you can use there with keeping a good form it's definitely bigger and that's something that's a big benefit and I know at the beginning it's very scary to do these squats deadlifts and bench presses but it is a process where you just need to get into doing them and with time and filming yourself in the gym you get better and better at doing these exercises, these compound lifts which are a must in every workout. Then if we go a bit further, like that is the solid foundation of a workout that you have these compound lifts. I'm doing at the moment a full body workout where it is like I train four weeks with the repetition of 10 to 12 reps with uh, compound lifts and then the next four weeks I reduce it to between I say 8 to 10 reps and then uh, in the last weeks last four weeks like I have a 12 weeks cycle in the last four weeks a bit on strength focus where I have six reps six to eight reps range where I really want to like focus on my strength part then the second point of today's video or the thing you need to have in your workout plan is isolation movements. I think a lot of people do that anyways but I think isolation movements are always after coming after the compound lifts when you have like trained a lot of muscle groups already and then you go into the isolation movement where you train one muscle group where you can really focus on form not too heavy there, like really burn them out and keep a good form there. And uh, you can add their bicep curls, barbell bicep curls, um, triceps extension, all these things are like isolation movements where you only train, for example, the tricep or your bicep or the lateral laces where you train your shoulders, like the lateral or the side shoulders are isolation movements. And there the rep range is 15 like 
I even if the cycle is 12 weeks, I always have um, 15 reps. Maybe sometimes a bit less of 12, but it's between 12 and 15 reps. And there, I really focus on keeping a good form and uh, like burn, like let the muscle group burn there. And um, that's like together with the compound lifts. I focus as well with um, calisthenics movements there. And the second point is uh, with isolation movements, you create your workout plan like that. Um, I'll show you maybe just uh, an example how that looks at the moment. Just short or quick input there, but the cycle within these four weeks change. Like I change up my uh, isolation movements and things like that in there in that workout plan. So that is just a bit of how it looks when I have a four week cycle of my training plan. So that is the second point, how to create your workout plan. Maybe you can take already a few examples of mine and implement it in your training. I'll hit the gym and I come to the last two points after my gym session. So I will talk to you guys later. Like that, I'm finished with my workout, got back home, and I hope you enjoyed this workout with me. <clears throat> the third point in today's video is stick to that plan. I was a person who was going through all these different movements and didn't stick to a plan until last year, and it is fine, but it doesn't really work that way. You need to focus and stick to that plan at least for 12 weeks in order to see results because I've realized with this cycle of four weeks and then reducing the amount of weight but still doing lots of the same exercises shows me that I could finally make a, like a proper progress there and before I was just doing an exercise there and changed it up after four or five weeks so stick to that plan 12 weeks Create a plan for yourself, maybe take mine as an example, this is not a professional one, but still I made a lot of progress there already and um, so take it as an example, use it and uh, let me know in the comment sections down below how you train or uh, what your plan looks like, uh, maybe I can change up something about mine. So that is the third point to stick to that plan. And the last and fourth point in today's video is nutrition is key. You probably heard about the quote, muscles are built in the gym, but revealed in the kitchen, or especially abs is the case. But anyways, look after your nutrition, create, you don't have to, I mean, just, that's the way I do it. I don't fully stick to it every single day, count every single calories. It would be the best way, but I, I can't enjoy it that way. So that's the reason I am having kind of a plan where I know what I eat usually, and uh, I try to stick to that and uh, have still meals out and uh, like, calculated for one, two months all the calories I was eating and now I know how much I can eat and I weigh myself always but so if you want to have it perfect you need to count these calories but you need to follow as well the nutrition part because I was as well very my ego was so high I was like I have the special genes it works out for me but it doesn't it just doesn't. Like the first bulk I did over the winter, I did the eight week shred summary just a few weeks ago, uh, link in the top um, info button there. And uh, it didn't work 
out perfectly. I got quite some fat down, but not fully, but I'm fine with it because I'm not a person who's really striving for that, for to see those abs. I just want to feel confident in my body, how I am. And I feel if I have a bit of more muscles instead of these abs, I, I enjoy it more and I see myself more confident because as a skinny guy, I was always like, yeah, not very confident in that aspect. So I think that's, you need to find your balance there and find the way how nutrition suits you the best. But you need to stick to a plan in order to see results in all these aspects. So to quickly summarize, first thing was compound lift. Second thing, isolation movements. And then I showed you how I created my plan. The third thing is to stick to that plan at least for 12 weeks. And then the fourth point of today's video was nutrition. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and smash that like button because that's how this channel can grow and I can inspire more and more people on this planet. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And thank you very much for watching.